A lady who represents the parents and friends of lesbians and gays from Montgomery, Alabama. Please give a warm round of applause for Miss Amy Harris.
the way that women are treated when they are going to access legal, safe health care. LGBT rights. Intersex. They intersect with reproductive rights. Transgendered women, transgendered men need the same kind of health care. Yes that all women and men deserve in this country. We will continue to be at the State House. We will be at the legislature. We will be at the Capitol steps if we have to. We want you all to vote. We want you to vote in this state. If you do not vote, you have no right to complain. That's right. If you need to register to vote, the powerhouse is open anytime we are there. We will get you registered to vote. And we are registering people to vote over at the pink tent, which is the powerhouse tent. Woo! Please vote. Please, please vote. That's why we're here. Vote. LGBT rights are important to everybody in this state. It is all, we are all created equal. Nowhere in the Constitution does it say we treat anybody any differently. That's right. No differently. So, if you want to follow what we do here, if you want to follow what we do at the Powerhouse, you can find us on Facebook. You can help the women of Montgomery, you can help the women of Alabama, and you can help your LGBT neighbors. Okay? Woo! Yes, ma'am. We have fought too hard in this country for women's rights, for LBGG rights, for human rights, period, in Alabama. And we cannot continue to let people well, have other That's amazing how we pervert the truth. Other That's what the Constitution is saying. Not nothing about so the Constitution it says, says where well, there is nothing in the Constitution, then it's left up to the people and their representatives. That's what the Constitution says. So the way of marriage came in to be of a government put their hands in when they were trying to rule against interracial marriage, which was illegal and unconstitutional.
with my two friends, James Robinson. Yeah! It's called All That's Left, and you can catch it on WVNN 92.5 FM, 770 AM, from 11 to 2. Folks, for well over 15 years, the people of the great state of Alabama have had to endure the religious posturing of a man who has used religion as a sharp and purposeful weapon of persecution. Judge Roy Moore's religious zealotry began early in his career, but it wasn't until he was appointed to the role of circuit judge in 1992, due to the passing of a sitting judge, that Alabama discovered that they were dealing with someone who wasn't interested in the law, but instead, someone who was interested in making a religious statement. It began when he hung a wooden plaque of the Ten Commandments in his courtroom in 1992. And he began all of his judicial proceedings with a Christian prayer. After first being warned by the local ACLU, he took a lawsuit from the good people of Alabama to say to him, No more! What did they say? No more! What did they say? No more! But sadly, there's still more. And that didn't stop Roy Moore. And the lawsuit drove on for several years. Eventually, in 1996, the prayers were ruled unconstitutional. But the wooden plaque of the Ten Commandments was allowed to stay. Of course, Moore violated judicial ethics. He publicly protested the ruling and stated that he would defy the order. Ten days later, he was ordered to remove his wooden plaque of the Ten Commandments as well. But the Alabama Supreme Court, Supreme Court issued a stay. Well, the religious zealots won that first round, but the good people of Alabama, they kept on saying, No more! What did they say? No more! What did they say? No more! But even with all that, there was much more coming. Moore decided to run for Chief Justice of the Alabama Supreme Court. And somehow he won that election and was sworn in on January 15, 2001. But the moment he took office, he made it clear again that he intended to turn his judicial bench into a pulpit. And again, the good people of Alabama said, No more! What did they say? No more! What did they say? No more! But again, Sadly, there's still more. We began working right away and putting a bigger Ten Commandments monument in the court. A huge monument using taxpayer dollars that he had the audacity to copyright. And during this time, he ruled on a parental custody case in which he stated, homosexual behavior is a ground for divorce, an act of sexual misconduct punishable as a crime in the state of Alabama, a crime against nature, an inherent evil, and an act so heinous that it defines one's ability to describe it. That is bigotry! And Moore continued to defy the law and defy other judges until he was finally removed from office in 2003 because the good people of Alabama said once again, No more! What did they say? No more! What did they say? No more! That's right. No more. But sadly, again, just when we thought there would be no more, he showed back up in 2012 and was back to his old bag of tricks of more bigotry and more theocracy. Judge Roy Moore is back to doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, expecting a different result. And what do we call that? Insanity. But we've had enough. We've had enough of your bigotry. We've had enough of your religious zealotry. 
We've had enough of your homophobia. We've had enough of your lifelong quest to divide us and to deprive the people of Alabama their constitutional right to be treated equally under the law. We've had enough and we won't stand any more more. The good people of Alabama demand that you are removed from your bench because our nation has spoken and they have said no more. What did we say? No more. What did we say? No more. Thank you.